Hello everyone and welcome back to this let's play of Might and Magic 7 for Blood and Honor where we are playing with an evil party. Uh, let's see here, in the last episode we... I don't really quite remember what we did to be quite honest with you. Uh, but what we need to do now at least is that we have to get to the land of the giants. Um, we have two quests there now, actually oh, we also have that third quest, come on. We're not gonna bother doing that one. Or are we? We might. I mean, but it's so annoying now that they have respawned. And you basically only get like 5,000 gold, and it's way too late for us to get any good experience out of it anyway. So I think we're actually gonna ignore it. Yeah, why not? Uh, but then we need to get to the land of the giants. And the easiest way to get there is definitely through... <laughs> the only way, actually. Uh, is to get through there, through the mountains of Nyan. They have dug... Or we were told in the last episode that they had been... Uh, they had dug an up Or... I can't speak today, apparently. That they had dug... And why didn't we heal Max? Mm, Sorry, I, I'm not sure why I'm suddenly so confused about everything. Uh, we were told in the last episode that uh, the Warlocks of Nine have built um, a tunnel to the Land of the Giants where we're supposed to go and kill Xenofex, the Devil Leader. Uh, and that's what we're gonna do, basically. Uh, as far as I remember, this is something I don't think we did in the light playthrough. Because uh, that was something I basically had forgotten. Uh, there is one exit here into the f uh, tunnels to nine um, that is way easier to get to to where we're supposed to get to uh, because we have to get into the tunnels to nine and then I think this is the wrong entrance actually we're just gonna check it out uh, yes it is we need to get out of here uh, there is one entrance from nine into the uh, tunnels to Nine that is very, very close to the entrance to the tunnel to the land of the giants. That That's why it was difficult for me to say this. I think it is this one instead. Uh, we're gonna find that out pretty quickly. I think we're gonna clear out the tunnels to Nine actually this time. Um, yeah, it might be this one actually. It might be. If it's not, then I'm sorry. Uh, but yeah, yes it is, because we have to get to these areas I recognize on the map right now. Um, and then it's just basically right around the corner here. Uh, we're gonna try to clear out the, um, to Tunnels T.E.O. Fall, I think it's named, yep. We're gonna try to Let's go. clean those out, actually, uh, because we are, have quite a competent party. We're here a bit late in the game, or late in levels, so it shouldn't really be a big problem. And we also have... Ah. You know, a good Ow. party to actually take these guys on. Uh, first of all, we have immunity Ow. to status effects by the Medusa, and then we have uh, Shrap Metal for <laughs> look at Penny evading damage, by the way. Uh, and then we have Shrap Metal for the more dangerous, um, the more dangerous uh, behemoths. Yep, that's it. Uh, Let's leave it behind. That's it. Let's leave it behind. Oh, Wand of Swarm, so cool. I would love to have that. Uh, not really, but... Tis but a scratch! Alright, oh, they haven't done regeneration, have we? So there shouldn't really be uh, oh, a lot of good. problems, as long as we just teleport back and forth quite a lot, which we, of course, will do, considering we have Lloyd speaking. Uh, and that's basically it. Uh, not that much nice treasure or anything in here. As far as I remember, there's only a few treasure chests. Um, so we have to rely more on what is on the ground. <laughs> Ow! Which can be nice though. So, I mean, we should just keep our spirits up and hopefully... Oh, come on. Look at Penny evading damage again. It's so cool that she can, like, dodge the entire... Or her entire portrait just disappears. Do -do -do -do. So in this tunnel, you'll only face Medusa and um, Medusa and Behemoths, with the Behemoths, of course, being the main challenge in here. But they can at least take damage from magic, uh, so Shrap Metal will make short work of them, considering we already cleaned out the, the um, Titan Stronghold, and this won't be a problem. Got him. Okay, let's start with the behemoths, or we killed one young behemoth, but that they don't really count. We've been killing dozens of 20 or 30, so... 
ancient behemoths, on the other hand. No match for me. Die! No. Oh yeah, one annoying thing here, of course, though, is that things will get destroyed um, or broken, and that's not really anything we can do about. Uh, to be quite honest, we just have to go back and forth to back and forth to Harmondale and um, repair quite often. But that's not really a big issue. You're dead. But I need it fixed. Boom, boom, boom. Young behemoths will just take on ordinarily. They don't Ow, deserve no our. No match for me. They don't deserve our mercy. Full killing with shrap metal. Let's leave it behind. Horned helmets. Nice. I love the description for the horned helmet, by the way. This cheap helm is better suited for a costume party than a battle. The horns have been glued onto a rigid leather cap dyed black to make it look scarier. The material is brittle and flaky and will probably come apart at just the wrong time. Yay! The tunnels to Eofol's great big treasure! <laughs> do, do, do. Yeah, as expected though, this, this dungeon isn't really a major issue. Uh, one thing that can be annoying in here is that the Medusa can sometimes dis- Oh yeah, shit, yeah, I forgot that they can take damage from that. Uh, the Medusa can sometimes disappear into the wall, uh, which sounds weird, I know, but it's just more annoying than anything. Because we can't kill them, um, they just <laughs> disappear, basically. Do -do -do. Okay, I'm not sure what we're finding right now. Boots, we don't need boots. At least not that kind. That's it. Sure, we can sell it. <laughs> That's we it. Can sell it. I like, uh, as you might have noticed uh, during the last few episodes, I like taking with me rings and small items that are worth a lot of money, but not big items worth a lot of money. I just don't see the point in it. It takes up way too much space for me to actually bother. Nope, no thank you. Who knows though, this is the first time I'm gonna play this on the GOG version, so maybe the Medusa will uh, not disappear into the wall anymore. Who knows? We can always hope. Do, do, do. Wait, what's in here? Money? No. Pure garbage. It actually is! That was actually pure garbage Garbage on both items. I'm not really. Like, who has left that in here anyway? Ah. I can't really imagine. Okay, maybe that warlocks who actually dug the tunnel. So where would all, did all the behemoths come from? Like, did they just disappear out of nowhere? I don't get it. I just don't. But I need it fixed. Dun, dun. Ooh, there we go. Yeah, one of the Medusas is paired into the wall, and I hate it. It's so annoying. We can't get to it now, and it's just stuck forever. But she can still shoot at us. So, I mean, annoying. It's just a scratch. Doo, doo. But nothing we can do about it. I guess one thing we can do, maybe. Ugh. Yeah. Okay. Another ring. Uh, one thing we can try that, that I never really bother with trying, and we're not actually going to do that now either. But one thing you can try if you're like a completionist and you have to kill everything in here use a Lloyd's Beacon, place it here, and then teleport back and forth. That might actually help because then um, they will like respawn to their original spawning points, and I'm doubting that that is actually in the wall. Probably not in the wall that they were supposed to spawn. <laughs> Here's a resting place, by the way. Uh, I think this That's place will it. basically always be green if you enter it. I mean, not if there's monsters nearby. If you don't kill any of the monsters here in this corridor, for an example, then it might not be completely green. But still, it is normally green, and uh, it's a nice place to rest up or cast invisibility if you don't want to fight for all of these monsters, if you're ah. not high enough level. Especially in speedruns, I think that's a pretty imp important place to Ow. cast one of your speed I scrolls. I know I will never do a speedrun because I'm not talented enough whatsoever. I'm very impressive that no when people do it me. though. I think there's but somebody who's been finishing this game in like 30 minutes. You should no check it out. For me. It's, it's seriously impressive. And scary. <laughs> How much luck is required to actually do it. I guess Ow. we need to recast the protection from magic pretty soon. So we don't start getting paralyzed or stoned. <laughs> stoned. Ow. That would be something, wouldn't it? No, I don't, I don't oh, use drugs. Yes. I've never used drugs before and I won't start doing it. I'm just saying. It would be nice, wouldn't it? It is but a scratch. Ow. It is but a scratch indeed. Ow. 
do Penny awaits damage again. I guess she has like a 10% chance of doing it though, so it's not that weird that she does it this often, but it's still so fun to watch. A tiny little dwarven lady just ducking beneath an arrow. Cut, but I need it fixed. Get used to it. Ooh, hello. Ow! Do -do 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 -do. You're way too happy to kill these things, uh, Emmanuel, I'm just saying. Uh, right now, though, I am starting to lose sight control over where we have been or not. Uh, so I'm just gonna go where there are monsters and kill them. I think we've been up here. Yes, that's where the movie is stuck scratch. in the wall. Torchlight just Ow. went out, which is fine considering we're only expert fire mages. Uh, again, fire magic, not my favorite skill in the game. I don't think the damage output is great enough to actually use it for anything good. Maybe if you only, like, or not only, but if you majorly concentrate on fire damage, then it might be passable. But we're not looking for passable, we're looking for insane amounts of damage. <laughs> At least that's what I think. Do -do -do. Ho -ha -ho. Uh, let's see now. Uh, again, a bit confused as to where we're supposed to go where we haven't really gone before, but I think this is a good guess. Just so we can remove ah. everything. Yes, even more Medusa. Ow! Ow! Got him. How many queens are there of you? Scratch. There's so many Queen Medusa. I'm just thinking, like, shouldn't there only be one? Haha, <laughs> I know, I'm silly. I should stop. <laughs> Sorry. It just hit me that, you know, something... Like, why it should be a Queen Medusa when there's like 15 of them? I don't get it. Well, I guess there's technically like hundreds upon millions of Queen Bees around the world as well, and I don't care any complaints about that, but still. Oh, I'm yeah. babbling. Do -do -do. Again, confused if I'm walking in the right direction. Uh, and by right direction, I mean the wrong direction, so we can... Oh yeah, hello, I forgot about you. Stop killing my cleric priest thingy. Ow. Wow, Just this is actually going scratch. super well. Uh, I I mean, I knew it was going to go well, but I didn't know that it was going to go this well, if it makes sense. Do, 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 do. Okay, another one stuck in the wall. That's actually fine. We're just gonna ignore you then and pick up the money here and run away. Hello, Axe. This might be of use to us. Yeah, that might actually be pretty nice. Does this better than the one we have? Uh, from free trading points of damage or fire damage, uh, I'm just gonna go with the chances instead of the safety. If that makes sense, like I'm gonna go There's with. There's no room in here. Uh, more maximum damage output compared to the more minimum damage output. Considering Penny is so safe uh, in her damage, I'm just gonna go try to go a bit more crazy with Jenny Key. If that makes sense. I guess it doesn't, but it did for me. Uh, I think we're gonna go back and heal right now. Uh, and the reason for that is that we are closing in on running out of spell points with Emmanuel. Um, which, of course, isn't nice, so <laughs> we want to keep him spelled up as much as possible. Do you need medical attention? Aww. Take care. The two ladies weren't even damaged. That's how good they are. Uh, let's see, are we missing any... Sure, let's go cast that one. And let's cast... Uh, stone Scan. For a good measure, let's call cast Wizard Eye. Apparently, why? See anything you want? No, but you can help me repair a sword, Pure hello helmet, garbage. and you can help me. Very weak. Help me repair this one. Thanks a lot. Thank you. Boom, boom. Yep. Okay. Let's get back to the tunnels to Yofall. Beautiful. Uh, we're entering in the last stages of this now, actually, aren't we? Uh, it definitely looks like we've been everywhere else at this point now. Um, I know there's two Medusa left there somewhere, but we're not gonna bother with them. They're they're dead in my book. Uh, and now we're gonna get to the major part with a ton of behemoths. Uh, okay, actually not yet. This is still. It's still a bit ha! further away. Oh, it is but a scratch. Ow. Do, 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 
Easy peasy lemon squeezy with shrap metal. <laughs> Trash You'll get so seen. tired of that uh, noise after a while. <laughs> so let's see now. Oh, no, wait. We still have a long way to go, actually, before we get to the um, point with, like, a shit ton of um, behemoths. So... Uh, we're gonna go down here first. This is basically where you come up from if you fall down from a jump you have to perform Trash if I've ever seen it. later. No, intellect we don't need that actually because we have so much armor class than the one we currently have with Max. Huh. Uh, so we're gonna... Sure, we're gonna sell that one too. It was actually worth quite a bit of money. Do do do. Mm -hmm. Ow. Oh, come on, you hit me from up there? Idiot. Do, 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 do. Yeah, and up there is to a bunch of behemoths. Okay, we got this, we got this, we got this. Um, now we just need to make that jump from that ledge over there to that ledge over there. Which I normally struggle quite a lot with, and I'm not really sure why. It's supposed to be a pretty easy jump, I think, but I always mis miscalculate it and always, like, mistime it. So, wish me luck. I think I'm gonna need it. Boom! Oh, I made it. Uh, I, I think I fell down there with my light side party. I'm pretty sure I did, because I always do. Uh, not this time, I guess. I keep impressing myself. Is but a scratch. A yeah, cut. I can't even imagine but like when Max says it's just a it's just a scratch getting hit by like an arrow when you're a skeleton. That's kind of sounds about right actually. I can't really imagine that it can actually hurt quite a lot. Well, actually, if it it's hits you right on the bone though, it can probably crush the bone. Did not think about that. Sorry, Max. It probably hurts quite a lot, and I'm sorry. It's just a scratch. It's just a scratch. Oh, yes! Oh, Penny, you killed Medusa since ah. before or approximately mid game. Come on. Here we go. This is where there are way many more behemoths. Ow. And with Shrap Metal, we have absolutely nothing to fear. We're just going to basically run down towards them and be like, give us a hug. Because there's like, they're, they're, they're no ah. problem at all. They're pushovers, basically. It's just a scratch. Ow! Ow. See? La 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 la, killing behemoths. Tis but a it's sour. really, really no problem once you have Ew. shrap metal in this game. Like, you can do anything. Just go close, use shrap metal, and it's so unfair. Um, mm. Ugh. The fine fancy hat of doom. You shouldn't have. You really, really, really shouldn't. Let's see, killing another emphasis. Yes, we're gonna pick up those behemoth corpses. I just forgot it one momentarily. And we gotta do some small amount of backtracking too, because there's like one part of this place that we didn't clear out of Medusa actually. Uh, not that road. No, that's the correct or actually the way we have to go. Do, do. Too bad that behemoths can't drop anything. They seem powerful enough to have swallowed nice treasure, but I guess not. Do, 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 do. Oh, I'm sorry for using trap metal because it's so cheap, but y you just see the effect of it, right? Let's leave I mean, it oh, hello, speed. You can use that, uh, Jenny Key. Why not? Oh, you actually have enough uh, rings right now. Okay, let me put it down, Penny. Then uh, we've done really crappy. I haven't concentrated on rings this uh, or this playthrough at all. Hmm. Okay, uh, that golems, no barbarians, assassin dagger. I think I would prefer that to, to, to this one, though. Actually, it's five guaranteed damage and five in armor class. I think we're gonna take it. But we're gonna save those exquisite long daggers because we can eventually... Um, ooh, this will also be fun for our shop metal. Ow. No match for me. 
And this is of course... Uh, no, wait, it's not. Never mind. I thought this was a specific place. Oh, oh crap. Now we actually... We don't have enough mana to... Town portal back. Uh, why were we stupid now? I should have paid more attention. Is there any way we can like... Is there any way we can... Can you regenerate spell points over time? Let's see, now you had six... Isn't there someone here who can? Is it you, Emmanuel? Yes it is, but that's because of the mind's eye, which... Unfortunately he can't use. And you regenerate hit points over time, but I don't think you, think you regenerate anything over time, do you? And we haven't found anything that does that either. Do, do, do. Then we might actually have to sleep, uh, which is a long time since we lasted. <laughs> so that would be annoying. Uh, but we don't really have a choice. Uh, boom, 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 boom. We can just buff up again in Harmdale. I know this episode is probably going to be a bit longer than normal because we have to get through the entire tunnel studio fall, but uh, whatever. It's not such a big deal, I hope. Dun, 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 dun. Too bad regeneration doesn't affect the entire party. <laughs> that would have been very nice. We're getting pretty close to the exit anyway, so we shouldn't worry too much. Uh, let's just set the... Yes! Trap metal as our quick spell again. Doom, boom, boom, boom. The store is closed. Oh crap. Okay, we're not gonna bother waiting for for um, repairing stuff then. We're so close to the exit now and we have shrap metal, so it shouldn't be a problem at all. Let's see, recall beacon, there we go. Boom! Geronimo! Ah. Ow! Oh, yes! No problem. That's it? Well, I just realized that Max doesn't have an amulet, so he can get the Sun Amulet of Speed. Boom, there we go. Um... Yeah, it's over here. This is where I was talking about backtracking to kill some more Medusa. I think there should be... No? Only one? Okay, but at least there's one Medusa. I knew there was supposed to be something over here. I thought, just thought that we would spa be spawning so much more here, but I guess not. Pure garbage. Uh, Champion sword is Pure actually garbage. quite nice. And intellect plus 20? Do... Uh, does, does Max even have... Um, nope, he doesn't have a belt. Now he does. Uh, let's see now. Okay, I think we're getting pretty close now to go into the last portion of this dungeon, which is basically just a long-ass... Uh, walk to the outside. You see the treasures there on top is like the exit, basically. Uh, on the minimap. Well, you can't see them anymore, but you could back then. Uh, so... Hello? Okay, we're just gonna, again, sorry about this, but we're just gonna double check that we cleaned out everything here on this side. Like, whatever this leads up to. Yep, because that's up to where we just jumped a few moments ago. We can just pick up a gemstone, why not? Yep, okay, we are ready for the last portion of this dungeon. Do do do. Bum 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 bum. Bum bum bum. Sorry, I know I shouldn't be singing that much, but I can't help it. Uh, okay, here is the long last walk towards freedom! Freedom for us, not for these behemoths that we're completely killing, and these Medusa that we're completely it's just killing. A scratch. Did we cast protection from magic? Yes, we did. If not, we would have been in a big poo poo right now. No running away, Queen Medusa! You can't get out of here alive! Is but a scratch. 
Wait, aren't we evil? Yeah, but we're not allied with the, with the warlocks. I keep, oh, for some reason, I've been confusing that for the last few episodes. I was like, hey, aren't we evil? Should we actually be killing the warlocks? But <laughs> yeah, we are not allied with the warlocks whatsoever. Oh, yes! Oh, that was easy. Sorry. It's just a cut, but I need it fixed. Doom, boom, boom. Wait, was that it? Hmm, it looks like it was. Okay. We are actually done with the Tunnels to UFO. Uh. Doo, doo, doo. And here is the grand exit. And we receive a telepathic message. My friends, I know you are working with my old advisors, but I must ask your help one more time. With the aid of equipment I have found in my new laboratory, I have discovered that my brother Roland, husband to Queen Catherine of Raffia, remains imprisoned by the devils in their foul... Uh, dwelling. I overheard that you are on your way to do battle with them. This equipment really is wonderful, and I want to make sure it goes well. My brother has stolen the key to their leader's chambers and has hidden in the in, a, in the beastly cage you're keeping him in. Oh, hidden it. Please rescue him. Not even I can bear to think of my brother in those conditions. To help you along, I offered this weapon. It was found by my loyal servant, Sergeant Prydak, amongst my advisor's personal belongings. I hope it helps. Which is a blaster. Uh, which, again, is a good weapon, for sure, if you actually, like... Uh, we can actually take a look here, like, blaster. Uh, <laughs> a weapon from before the silence they're making has long since been lost. Expert and master blasters gain double and triple accuracy with these awesome weapons, and grandmaster gain quintuple effect. Which basically means you will never miss when you shoot it, and blasters are insanely quick weapons, so you will decimate anything in your way if you use them, like, for real. You will decimate them. Like, it's not, like, not even a joke. You, you'll destroy them. Uh, if we had a knight, we could have become uh, Arms Master Grandmaster here. Which we saw is uh, an amazing uh, skill to do. Uh, because it, like, basically increases your, like, your damage output by at least 40 damage, which is insane. Combine that with dual-wielding knights and you have a uh, weapons, no, um, damage-dealing master. Uh, before we end this episode, we are gonna put a beacon down here, uh, instead of the tunnel's beautiful. Uh, and if you remember correctly, um, when you come here, you have to immediately go and remember to pray at the shrine here. Uh, if you don't, you will regret it, because then you have to go for the entire tunnel's beautiful again. Because taking this teleporter will uh, make you go to Harmondale, and you have now opened up a teleporter back Ow. and forth from the Land of the Giants to to Harmondale, which is super, super nice, let me tell you. Uh, as we did with the Light Party, we're going to take out these um, Titans and Dragons eventually with Shrap Metal. It's going to be pretty easy. Uh, before that, though, we're gonna go and do all of the main quests and stuff, um, just to have it done. So, we're gonna end the episode here. I've been a Biting Gamer. Thank you for joining me. See you in the next episode. Bye-bye!